This video introduces a basic setting when shooting in S-Log. Here, we'll be using the Alpha 7S Mark II. One of the camera's picture profiles combines popular S-Gamut and S-Log II options. To choose a preset, select Menu, Camera Settings, and then Picture Profile. Choose PP7, which combines S-Gamut and S-Log 2. This time, we'll shoot without adjusting preset details. Video shot with this preset is recorded in a gamut called S-Gamut. You'll notice that as shown here, S-Gamut video looks dull. That's because we're viewing S-Gamut video in a different gamut, commonly called Rec. 709. This is how video looks on a Rec. 709 screen, which cannot display all of the colors. Here, you can see how much smaller the Rec. 709 gamut is. Optimal display of log video on Rec. 709 screens requires color grading, and this is where LUTs are used. Short for lookup table, LUTs are conversion tables for video. To make it easier to check focus and exposure, instead of viewing the muted colors of log video, use Gamma Display Assist to apply LUTs to log video. Today, more camera monitors also support LUT display, which enables optimal Rec. 709 display for checking your log video. Besides the wider gamut of log video, another advantage is a wider dynamic range, which can preserve details in subjects that would otherwise look under or overexposed. Scenes you might have thought were too difficult, with backlit subjects or people in strong sunlight, can now be captured with subtle nuances in the highlights and shading of cloudy skies, or people's shadows.